Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to answer a question that I got quite a few times on a past video, and it was where I was talking about how Samsung Free is moving over into Samsung News. So basically what happens if you were to swipe over, this would either give you your Google Discover, or it would be able to give you your Samsung Free, which Samsung is now switching it to Samsung News, but a lot of people ask the question, where is my Samsung Free? When I do the whole pinch to zoom thing, I move over, I only have one option, which is Google Discover. So I found out what happened and it could be a couple different reasons first off it could be that you disabled it or it could be that you uninstalled the application because it is a pre-installed app that samsung puts on their phones maybe you saw it and maybe you uninstalled it and now you maybe possibly want to get it back or the third option which is what i ran into here is that this phone never even came with it from the moment that i received the galaxy a54 5g i went right over here i took a look and i only had one option so it gave me the ability to actually shoot this video for everybody else who fell into the same situation as me. So what I did originally was first off, I looked here and I didn't see it. Then what I did was I went inside of my settings and I wanted to take a look to see if maybe it was sitting inside of my apps to where maybe I turned it off, disabled it or whatever. So through here, I typed in the word free. I even typed in the word news to see if it would pop up. Uh, and so nothing came up at all. So that just means that I never even had it. I also even went into the Galaxy Store and within the Galaxy Store, uh, let's see if I go over and hit on the search button. You can see I searched for Samsung News and I searched for Samsung Free. Now I scrolled through here quite a bit and I didn't find either of the two. So again, if we take a look at Samsung Free, it doesn't even give me the option to even download it, which is really weird. So I don't know if it's because this is like a, an AT&T carrier locked phone. And for some reason, it doesn't come with it because it maybe came with smart news. And maybe that's something that they would rather push more on their agenda. So how you're able to get this downloaded is just simply go inside of your Google search bar. You can type in Samsung free APK. And I usually trust APK mirror for any time I needed to get an APK, which is basically just the Android version of how an app is written. Now you can see here, there's already like a start button, a start download button. So it's a, you have to make sure you take a look at everything and you're not just hitting on start download because you might be downloading something else. Uh, but this is the latest version here. It actually shows all of the versions on the very bottom, but to make it very simple and easy for you, rather than you having to you know tap on this and then searching for wherever the download APK icon is, because it does kind of get lost inside of these pages, I did save this and put it on my Samsung Cloud. So there's a link inside of the description below the video. You can tap on that link and you're able to get it all downloaded. So again, this is the latest one from April 19th. So you don't have to get some of the, the later versions or uh, the ones that are a little bit older. So the fastest way to get this done, if you did want to search through it through APK Mirror, you can do that. If not, click on the link below the video inside the description. And then basically what's going to happen is you're going to see this little APK Mirror right there. This is for Samsung Free. And you just want to get it installed. Now, you'll probably see a little pop-up and it's letting you know that you need to change this in your settings. So if you download it from Chrome, it's gonna say that you have to unlock it for Chrome for it to work. This one is just sitting in My Files. So now I just have to make sure that I give the credentials for My Files to get this one downloaded. So I'm gonna hit on My Files and then I'm gonna hit on Install. And what's really cool about this is you're gonna be able to see it on the left-hand page right away. So it's not just gonna be a normal app that's just sitting in your phone. It's gonna be exactly where it should be. So now when I do my pinch to zoom, I move on over, here's my Samsung Free. I'll be moving on back and here we go. Now we got Samsung Free going along. You just start, uh, you just accept all for all of these things. That one was all optional. And then what's going to happen uh, on the very top right hand side, you can read some of the notices. And this is where it's talking about Samsung Freeze moving over to Samsung News. And it was starting on April 18th when they're starting to slowly roll this out. So it's a rollout update. Not every single phone will get it at every single, you know, the exact same time immediately. Because if there's a problem, then that means they have to fix every phone that got it. So it's a rolling update. Certain devices and certain people is able to get it right away. So that was all I wanted to share in today's video. So all you'd have to do is make sure that if you want to download it from me, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll actually show you where it's stored. So if I go inside my quick share, I created it as a link sharing link basically. So now what's going to happen is you're going to see this link because I'm going to copy it, put it inside of the description below. You click it and now you're able to get, you're going to see this screen and then you just tap here and then you go to install. So you can download this one and then it installed to your phone. And that's really all you would have to do. It's that, that simple. I made it 
very easy. You tap the link, get it downloaded. So then if you run into the situation like I did, which for some weird reason, I can't find it in the Galaxy Store. It wasn't even there pre-installed because this phone is brand new. I've only had it for three days and it was never even there. I never disabled it, never deleted it. And now we got it on back. For anybody who would like to start using that newer Samsung News that should be rolling out updates very, very soon. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Uh, if it did, give you, you know, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.